We all have that friend who's like, Blankety blank is the fastest growing sport in blank blank area. Oh yeah, it's really picking up steam. Yeah, it's really growing fast and pretty soon, it's all you'll be hearing about. Well, they're lying. It's like how everyone thinks they're an above average driver. They're not. Only I am. <laughs> what they're not wrong about is that the sheer number of sports is growing astronomically. And this is something I can get behind. I've been a proponent for a really long time that there needs to be a channel, any day, any time, you tune onto this channel and there's some sport from around the world having a championship or having a match or whatever, any sport, anywhere, any language, any time, every time, all the time, every sport. All the time. <laughs> That's their motto, probably. Today we're going to look at some of the sports that would be on this channel. We're going to start off with a sport that's been getting a lot of attention recently. Ear pulling. <laughs> look, the things that I'm about to say are not insults to this game. Or the competitors. The fact that every one of these competitions ends in a nervous smile? Where's the heart? Oh, I lost, shucks. That's not what we need in this sport. The ear pull needs guts. Anger! Quite frankly, these athletes lack it. <laughs> that was the one that people were like, oh! <laughs> that right there, that was a highlight reel ear pull. That was pure domination. Is there technique? You gotta, Clench your sternocleidomastoids right here, like this. Do some big ears help or small ears help? Clench the sternocleidomastoid and do like a little bit of in the core, like you rotate in the core, like. <laughs> Look at that ear! Look at this! What would I even think that is? <laughs> like an unfried piece of bacon. This is what I was talking about. Look at this face. This guy wants it. This is what this sport needs. He wants it so bad. Oh, that guy's stone cold. My string. Yoink! This guy's gotta be the Michael Jordan of ear pulling. Everyone else is like, I'm here to have a good time. And this guy's like, what's a good time if you're not winning? He's straight eye contact, looking into his soul. Gives him the string, no handshake, just leaves. That guy means business. This is the championship. And guess who it is? The guy with the most intensity and also the biggest ears. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you hear the pain coming from his competitor? <laughs> he took him down. Guy was there moaning and he's just sitting there like this. He just crushed that man. This guy's the Michael Jordan of ear pulling. Ear pulling, it's a lot. Next sport, extreme ironing. Iron a shirt somewhere extreme. <laughs> <laughs> now these are some extreme ironing dudes. Upside down on a rock wall. He's like holding the shirt up there. That's athletics. Can you do that? No. Does kind of look like he's doing a shitty <laughs> job ironing though. <laughs> Extreme! These people are definitely all like accountants, right? These people aren't getting satisfaction out of their jobs. And so they are reaching for something to break the mundane. Plus, if you're an accountant, you probably already have some ironing experience. Are any of these plugged in? Is there rules and regulation on what irons you can use? Somebody using a better iron than somebody else? You know this is a lock. You know this is a lock on the channel. 
It's 2 a.m. You're bored. You turn on the TV. And boom. Here's this chick. Power stance in it in a river. <laughs> ironing a shirt. I don't know if there's a better sales pitch than that, to be honest. Next sport, Zorbing. Weighing 90 kilograms, the Zorb consists of two plastic spheres connected by around 500 strings. Within four years, the world's first commercial operation, Zorb Rotorua, opened just over 200 kilometers southeast of Auckland. You run down a luge track in a hamster ball. F yeah, that's dope. These things are definitely just filled with vomit, right? Some teenager in New Zealand is cleaning these out for minimum wage. <laughs> there are two types of Zorbing, wet and dry. I don't know about you, but kind of like my Zorb's wet. <sighs> Nothing like a wet Zorb. <laughs> <laughs> but with Zorbs costing anywhere from 10 to 20,000 New Zealand dollars, will it ever challenge Bungie? Zorbing? Pfft. You think I'm silly? Of course it's on the channel. Next sport, bog snorkeling. <laughs> Sick. Bog snorkeling is a, uh, you guessed it, snorkeling down a bog. Fantastic job. This feels so British. Weird activity, rainy day, the word bog. So I guess the rules of bog snorkeling is you can't swim. You just have to kick with flippers and do something with your arms, but not like swimming. You can't like swim. I guess that's what makes it different than swimming. <laughs> Quite frankly, reviewing this footage, uh, bog snorkeling suffers from a lack of real athletes. <laughs> We're falling again into, uh, into the accounting issue where we have accountants doing this to get a spark out of life, you know? A spark, they just need something. But do you think that's holding it back from being on the channel? <sighs> no. If it has the word championship in it and it's moving in the least, it's on the All Sports channel. So this is our third uh, American uh, She was just flying. She might be the Michael Phelps of the sport. I had so much bog that I was swallowing, I started to just doggy paddle and come up for breath and kick kind of oddly. Bog snorkeling. Is it on the channel? Hell yeah. But bog snorkeling is probably more like a 3 a.m. sort of. Next sport, giant pumpkin kayaking. All right, on the ready. All rowers, are you ready? Oh, this is gonna be good. Look at these guys. On your mark. Oh, ready for the speed. Get set. Whoa. Uh, number seven's got a little flip. He said go. Why aren't they going? <laughs> Come on, go! This is just handicapped kayaking. What kayaking needs to make it improved is giant hollowed out fruit and farmers. Tell me that's not more intriguing. A new strategy with Bryant over here. Keeping his feet in the pumpkins, gonna tow it across the lake. Our first pumpkin submarine on the way back. We've got Robert Cook, Mike Sheridan. Repeating is winner Robert Cook. So there you have it. They roll across a pond. Is it making the channel? You bet. I'll give pumpkin kayaking like, like a 2 p.m. slot. Our last sport. Compared to the other ones, this one is so legit. Get ready for Psycho Ball. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. You think I'm kidding because the rest of these have been weird. This one is genuinely so impressive. Watch this. First blood to Austria in the opening minutes of this final. This sport is already like established. A lot of these sports that we've been talking about so far are like in their infant stages as sports. This one right here just needs the attention and the coverage of the All Sports channel. Well, do you really need to you see that? Full court kick. A bicycle kick, if you will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's just soccer on bikes. How dope is that? This is amazing. Penalty spot. Oh, well saved again from Austria. Oh, that team play. These guys aren't accountants. These guys, they're in marketing. I got a marketing degree. You know I'm biased, but you know it's the truth. Next time you go to your accounting department, look around you. 
then go to the marketing department. You'll see what I'm talking about. All kinds of things happening here. It is all over and it is Austria by two goals who have won. And once again, Austria are the world champions in the cycle ball. What an amazing event. The only problem is not many people saw it. Cycle ball might be the pièce de résistance for the All Sports channel. It's got a prime time slot, for sure. Bog snorkeling? Just filler time to make it 24-7. Cycle ball? Mm. You've just tasted the surface. You've just given that surface just a little... All Sports channel would be a French kiss of sports on your metaphorical mouth. <laughs> what did we learn? We need the All Sports channel. Maybe you need to join a sport, you know? Maybe you're watching this and you're like, I'm unfulfilled with my accounting job. We all just need to be fulfilled and sometimes, sometimes you just need to iron upside down to do it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. <clears throat> or a stream, hey, I stream. Did you know that? I stream sometimes, not all that, I should stream more. But hey, hit the bells for that, okay? <laughs>